Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I forgot to do an intro so I'm doing it right now. Seriously, the video was kind of like me and Ethan went to Walmart, went a couple of places. I made a burger. I don't even remember everything. I think I went to my mama's house. But go ahead and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the video. I'm going to go ahead and get this out probably on Tuesday, and then I have another video coming out. So thank you so much, you guys, for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always, you know, leaving comments and liking the videos and for sharing. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I love you with all of my heart. So go ahead, enjoy the video. Bye, guys. I mean, not bye. Watch. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Me and Ethan are headed to Walmart to do some grocery shopping. Isn't that a cute jacket he got on? He like he ready for Christmas. Alright, you guys. Books Walmart got to offer. These are the books on this side, guys. I'm learning a lot guys a lot of stuff I used to read and watch I really not you know I knows I love Buffalo check this is super cute look at this for this little baby it's for a little preemie man I would put that baby in this little thing and I would hug it and kiss it all day all right, you guys, so we are finally finished with all the work. So I put the groceries up, and I was going to make the cheeseburgers tonight because I was like, I'm going to make some cheeseburgers, some fries, some corn, a cob, you know what I'm saying? And that is a delicious meal, and that was the plan, y'all. But I ended up making it tomorrow for Sunday dinner because I went and got a plate. Technically, the plate was for Ethan. Ethan wanted a plate. My friend, um, she always... Her and her husband always make kind of like a Miyabi style dishes. They also do wings. They do turkey, turkey wings, rice. They do like lots of meals, nachos. Y'all have seen their plates before. And so Ethan wanted me to go get him a plate because they were selling plates today. I was going to make burgers. But Ethan said he wanted a plate. So your girl said, okay. And I was happy because I love for my friends and family to support my friend. Matter of fact, I put her flyer on my Facebook, hoping that more people go. Because people always turn out, but, you know, I just want to do my little two cents. So, um, Ethan doesn't care for, like, peppers and things like that in his food. He likes his food very simple, plain. White rice, chicken. Or if it has teriyaki, he really likes his white, I mean, his rice, plain. Juice on the chicken, not on his rice. So, baby, he opened that beautiful plate, and he was like, Mama, you can have it. And I was like, son, just taste it, because I know it's going to be amazing. Just taste it. It's going to be amazing. He said, Mama, you eat it. I'm going to get me some popcorn, chicken, and a bowl of tea. So, your girl was like, okay, baby. Y'all, when I tell y'all this food is so delicious, like, I have eaten so much. I am so full. It was way more than this. Your girl can't eat no more. So this is going to be my dinner tonight because I just had it for my lunch. So this is going to be my dinner for tonight. I didn't even touch no white sauce or no teriyaki. It was so delicious. And I was like, man, I just wish Ethan would just try it. You know, sometimes you want your kids just to try new things because it's, it was so good. So long story short, cheeseburgers, fries, and a corn cob going to be for Sunday dinner. And I promise you, I will show you me making that meal, okay? Because Mama T is full. It's probably almost 4 o'clock. Let me see what time it is. Oh, no. It's only 2 o'clock. I feel like I've been up for so long. It's almost 2 o'clock, so I'll probably head this a little bit later. And that's it. All right, so pretty grandma did her little porch, y'all. Finally finished. I would do that, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> She's so silly. Look at her fern. It's so pretty. Her fern is so pretty. Look at that daisy under the chair. <laughs> Good morning, my beautiful people. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Your girls look a little hurt this morning, but it's all, it's okay. Don't pay the hair any attention. Okay. 
let's just get to it. So yesterday I was supposed, to, I made burgers. My goal was to make a donut burger, just one. Never had one. I've heard a lot of people talking about it. Amber acts like they are so delicious. So let me show you what I did. I went to um, the food line. As you can see, people ate the donuts. So I'm going to try to do one burger really quickly before these go away. So my goal is to make, I'm going to show you a picture of my burgers I made right there. Those are the burgers. They were a bomb last night. So I'm just going to heat up one. I'm about to cook some bacon real quick. And because I'm going to show you, let me show y'all what the bacon burger looks like. So this is what they say the bacon burger looks like. I've never had the bacon donut burger looks like. I've never had one. I'm going to make one. I got me some bacon right here. I'm going to make me like a cup piece of bacon. Put me in a, Amber said you fry the donut a little bit, the part where you put your meat. So... I made fries, so just ignore that grease. And I saved it because I'm probably going to make Ethan some fries today so he can have with his burger. But let me show y'all real quick. I probably won't eat the whole thing. I kind of got grossed out last night, and I was like, I don't think I want that. So I didn't eat it, but today I just really want to try it. So, but yeah, so we're going to get this house in order. I just finished washing dishes, and I made my bed, of course. And the living room is pretty much straightened out. Living room is straightened out. There's no mess in here. Um, I know what I need to do is find some new sponsors for me and Salam um, today. So that's my goal is to get us some new sponsors for the month of November and December so we can finish um, the year off strong. So y'all pray with me that I find what we need um, and what will bless us and help our business grow and continue to grow. Praise God. So this weekend, I don't know what was going on this weekend, but my mood was really, really off, you guys. I don't know if you guys ever experienced that. I know some people were saying they think it was because a lot of the activity that was going on, you know, the last days of October or the last day of October. Um, but my mood was really off and I was feeling very like I was having anxiety about different things and just like trying to know, like, you, you ever just like, Okay, you may be like a, a man or woman, a guy who you have listened to before, but then, I mean, I know everybody, people are not going to be perfect, and I'm not going to agree with everything, but I just don't want to be deceived by anything, so just listening to different things, and you're like, mm, that don't sound right, so it's like, oh, wow, so you know, now I'm not going to listen to him or her anymore because I don't like what they said, or, you know what I'm saying, I don't know if they are on the same accord as Christ, so you just like, okay, so, um, but a friend of mine told me to um, read Galatians. So it just, it really blessed me. Actually, it was Galatians 3. Galatians chapter 3. I think it was Galatians chapter 3, verse 10, but just read the whole chapter. Matter of fact, I read the whole book of Galatians last night, and I'm going to read it again today because I like to study um, in the Word so it can get inside of me. Um, and that's what I suggest you to do too. Please try not just to read scriptures like, oh, I read a scripture today. Really try to spend some time a little bit more time than five minutes with God every day, reading and in prayer. And that's my spiel for this morning. I love you guys, and I'm going to get to making this burger. All right, guys, so these are the two pieces of bacon I'm about to put in the oven, and I'm about to cook them for my donut burger. Quick, I did work out this morning. I had a really good workout. Um, I did a little over 6,000 steps this morning, and I'm going to try to work out, um, give it another light lap this afternoon to try to get between eight and 10,000 steps today on November 1st. Please know I'm still um, exercising and I try my best to um, make healthy decisions as well as tasting things here or there. I know I'm not as strict as I was, but I do exercise about five, six times a week and I drink plenty of water. I don't drink no sodas. I try not to have a bunch of sugary stuff because that's like one of my weaknesses and I try to make better decisions. Although I am going to taste this donut, I will definitely not be eating all of it. I'm just making it because I saw it and I thought it was cute and I was like, oh, maybe the beautiful people want to see this. So. That's why I'm doing it, if anybody want to know. So these are the leftover burgers. Most people would have definitely done this with a fresh burger, but we're just going to make it do what it do, or we're going to do what it do. <laughs> I'm going to use that burger right there, and I'm going to fry those little donuts. Well, just the part um, where, the, where it's going to sit, okay? And we're going to put that donut on there. We're going to add the bacon. We're going to give it a taste, and I hope it tastes good. So let me take this burger out. Wrap that stuff back up. So they'll probably eat those tonight. So my lazy self last night had a little bit of dish in the sink. I had these dishes in the sink last night. And I think those two. So I just washed the dishes this morning. 
I did rinse some, y'all, but I was being lazy, I guess. So, I'm going to put these dishes up because I do have to cook dinner tonight. Even though we got those leftover burgers, I'm making some salmon because I bought some fresh salmon. Um, and I don't want it to go bad because we bought it, me and Ethan bought it Saturday. So, I said I'll cook it. Even if we don't eat it tonight, I just want to go ahead and cook it. But I think I am just going to cook the salmon with, um, you know, to give everybody a healthy choice for dinner. Like, if Ethan wants to eat the burger... For lunch today, um, he can still have some salmon for dinner with some vegetables. You know what I'm saying? I did make corn on the cob last night with the burgers. Y'all should have showed y'all. I don't. I was just, my mood was, remember I said I was not feeling, I was feeling different um, this weekend. So I wasn't, I didn't feel like picking up the, my. I just didn't feel right. And it's hard for me to film and come and bring positive energy when I'm not feeling positive. Um, and I know some people really want to see that because they feel like that's truth and that's real. But for me... I don't want to, I don't want to come on here being confused and, you know, I care about what I say in front of my subscribers. I always think about setting an example and about making the best decisions for you guys. I'm just a woman who loves God and I don't want to steer people wrong. I'm, I take my, I take it very seriously to get on here and say things. Did I always do that? No, I didn't. Some of the things that I, you know, done even a few months ago, I probably wouldn't do today. Um, so my walk and my relationship with God is getting stronger. Was I a Christian last last year, two years, four years, five years ago? I really believe that I was, but some of the things I was doing was not operating and the fruits of the spirit. And I'm really, really making sure that I do that. And that's why I want y'all to read Galatians. Regardless of the views or how many people don't watch, I have to be true to God. And I can't worry about things like that. I understand this is... It's, it's kind of weird because it's like I started this channel for it to be a business, um, have fun with people, try to spread positive love and energy um, with people, but I can't forget who God is. So it's just like, you know, I have to tell people about the Lord, even though this is my business. So I'm just saying, I'm doing it like I would do it if I was on a regular job. If I was on a regular job and I can talk about the Lord, I'm going to talk about God, even while I'm at work. Um, and we did, you know, I did with um, co-workers and I, we didn't with the children, but you would be surprised. There'd be a lot of kids um, who want to talk about God with you. Now, if a student would come up to me asking me if I was a believer, because they did all the time or they did, you know, sometimes I would definitely say, you know, I am. I would not try to, you know, convert them to being a Christian because you can't really do that in that field of work. But if they asked me, I would be honest and I would tell them. And I also tried my best to live my life um, according to God's word so they can see it and not just hear me say it, but you want them to see, you know, you want your light to shine basically. And that's just what I'm focusing on right now. Um, am I happy with everything that go on? No, I'm not. Do my kids get on my nerves? Some of the things they do, some things they post. Absolutely. But um, I have to just stay true to who I am in Christ and pray that, you know, everybody falls in place just like I did. So God bless you. I love you. And let's get back to these burgers. All right, y'all. So the bacon is ready. It's a little crispy. Got to get this grease off of it. Do y'all like do this? Because I always take my um, napkin and do this to my bacon. I don't like that extra grease. I just put these donuts on here. I'm going to warm them up. Just warm like the inside of it up. I didn't put nothing in the pan because I'm literally just about to, you know, warm up the bottom. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys. Let me make me some water really quickly. Put the top on a little bit because I kind of want to make the whole donut a little bit warm and not just the bottom. So I'm just going to do it for a few moments. I know I got it kind of hot, but I'm really going to stand here while it heats up and I'm going to put it right over there on my plate, put my burger on there, and we're going to see if we can eat a bite or two. Hopefully we don't get sick or grossed out. <laughs> what y'all think? Who has done this? If you've ever had this type of donut burger, please put in the comments. Like, let me know if you tasted it, if you had it, if you want to try it, or if you never heard of this before, just let me know. But you know, like, they have a, like, chicken and, I'm sorry, y'all. They have things like chicken and waffles. They have things like that burger duck donut has with the bacon so y'all know they be having like bacon and burgers and bacon and donuts so i decided to try it myself y'all can see that it's bubbling a little bit okay we're doing something a little bit down there and it's kind of low so let me just let it warm up for a few more seconds then we're gonna look at that sugar bubbling thank you bubble right off because y'all know i don't need it put it back
back on here for like maybe like another minute and then we're gonna put it on the plate all right so i just took that part off oh my goodness my burger's hot it's burning my fingers hold on y'all okay put the bacon there that's sugar wow look at that sugar sliding across okay now we're gonna put this burger up here oh my goodness i can't believe i did this you guys look at my burger oh did i turn off the stove okay i did y'all am i really gonna taste this you guys oh my goodness let me turn the light on i'm so nervous but i want to go ahead and taste it while it's still warm so let me go ahead i think i'm gonna show instagram really quickly take the first bite with y'all watching. But that's where I was. That's where I had it. But definitely rate that like a five or six for taste. Um, I didn't like my hands feeling sticky um, eating. And I have another thing to say. When I'm eating a dinner or like a meal, not a dinner. When I'm eating my meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I need something savory. <clears throat> like I need something that's not sweet. You know how when you eat pancakes, when I eat pancakes... Pancakes are good. Waffles are good. But I like to have eggs. I like to have grits. I like to have a meat. And so I don't like to have something that it kind of like the donuts were, I guess they were so thick that they kind of overpowered the meat that I really couldn't taste the meat. You know, um, I, I couldn't taste the flavor of my burger that much like I did last night when I had them on the bun. It seemed like the sugar was just overpowering the um, burger. So a uh, that burger is definitely a no for me. I'll probably never, ever have that again. I know I won't because it really, it just didn't do it for me. But for anybody else that likes it, you know, enjoy your burgers. But don't eat too many because the thought of beef, pork, and sugar, no. That's definitely going to make you not feel well. And it, it, it can't be healthy. But, you know, we tried it. We're not trying it again. But, you know, it was what it was. I ain't nothing wrong with trying something new. All right, you guys, so we are going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed um, watching this vlog. I am still working on the sponsors for Salam and myself. I've been working on this for almost two hours, you guys. And so far, I've gotten about nine, about 10 sponsors. And my goal was to get 20, 20 new sponsors today. And that is what I'm working on. So it is... 5.13. I started this a little bit after 3. It's 5.13 and um, I still have to cook dinner. So I'm going to try to start cooking about 6. So I'm going to try to hurry up and wrap this up. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment. 
in my comment section. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you um, just continue to do good, strive, do the very best you can, and do not forget to read your Bibles. God bless you guys. Bye.